Hey guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create this. First of all, I am really sorry for not uploading videos regularly. I was busy with my own projects. Anyway, from now, I will try to be regular. By the way, today I will share a few tips on stroke animation. With this, you can do any type of stroke animation in After Effects. I can't show you the bicycle logo animation because it will take more than 20 to 30 minutes. So I will do the same thing with this logo. Don't worry I will cover all the parts. Let's create a new composition. Alright, let's bring our logo into the timeline. Apply the fill effect, so we can change the color according to our needs. Ok, here one thing I have to say, you can do a stroke animation in two different ways, one with masking, and one with alpha matte layer. And here we are going to use the alpha matte layer technique, because it will give you the freedom to make the animation more creative. Alright, let's take the pen tool, and draw a line like this. Make sure it covers our main logo. Bring this layer under the logo layer. Now click on this add button and add trim paths on it. Open trim paths one and set the end value zero and add a keyframe on it. Then go forward to a few frames and change the value 100. By the way, you can animate this from a different point, the choice is yours. Now take the pen tool and draw a line like this, but make sure you don't select any layer. Just like this. Now try to make the line alignment as precise as possible. Now add trim paths on this layer also. Open trim paths and change the start value 100, then go forward to a few frames and set its value 0. Go to this frame and add a keyframe on end, then go forward to a few frames and set its value 0. Now select these two layers and press U to see applied keyframes. Then just drag these two keyframes right here, so it starts after the first layer animation. Adjust the keyframes a little bit. Not it looks good to me. Press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this logo image. Place it on the top of all layers and make it visible. Now draw a similar line according to your logo. Just like the previous one. You are free to animate the line from any point you want. Let's animate this one with the trim paths like before. So this is our basic logo animation with stroke. Now let's see how to create the dotted line animation. Alright, first make a duplicate of this layer. Open shape 1. Then open stroke 1. Now go to dashes and click on this plus icon two times.
Let's offset the keyframes of this layer to see the dotted lines. Now adjust the dash and gap according to your need. Reduce the stroke width a little bit so it looks like a tail. Now it looks good to me. Or you can go step tail animation by using multiple layers with different stroke widths. In this case, it will look bad because the animation duration is too small. Let me just show you how to make it so you can use this later in your projects. Anyway, let's back to our main logo and do the same tail for the other line. Now select all layers and pre-compost it. Alright let me show you a simple trick here, if you use this in the right way, it will be eye-catching. Just select the layer and create a shape like this. Now open the mask and change its mode to subtract. Then open mask and a keyframe on mask path, the go forward to a few frames and drag these points like this. And that's all, it's done. I use these same techniques for the bicycle logo. Anyway, you can add rotation and scale animation on this to make it a little bit better. And if you really want to see the full video of the bicycle logo, let me know in the comments down below. That's all for today. We'll see you guys in the next videos with some new useful tricks.